What's up YouTube? Today we're gonna to take a look at lead code problem number 1173, immediate food delivery one, marked as easy. And this question has been asked by DoorDash, might be asked by Uber as well, for Uber Eats. Anyways, let's get into it. Anyways, people seem to love this problem. It has a lot of upvotes. I even gave it an upvote and added it to my favorites, which I almost never do. It's very realistic, it's marked as easy, and it is actually easy. And yeah, you could totally come up against such a problem in a real interview. We have a table called delivery, containing a delivery ID, customer ID, order date, and customer pref delivery date, which is the preferred delivery date of a customer. If the preferred delivery date of the customer is the same as the order date, then the order is called immediate, otherwise it's called scheduled. Our task is to write an SQL query to find the percentage of immediate orders in the table rounded to two decimal places. Query result format should look as following, having just the immediate percentage and that one value in that column. Sum it up in one sentence, we want to find out what is the ratio of people making regular deliveries, just ordering in a pizza, which comes in 30 minutes on the same day, against all orders which might contain people saying, I need 20 pizzas for my football team on Friday in two weeks, which would be a scheduled delivery. Our task is to find that ratio and we have that delivery table to go by. So let's get into coding that up. Our main sentence in the problem statement is pretty much this one. If the preferred delivery date of the customer is the same as the order date, then the order is called immediate, otherwise it's called scheduled. And we both have the preferred delivery date in here and the actual order date, so we can compare these quite easily in SQL and the sentence also starts with an if, so it tells us to consider using a if statement or case when then statement and that's exactly what I'm going to do. But let's start off by selecting order date, this is a long field name, customer preferred delivery date from delivery and let's just run this. So we're going to see these last two columns lined up against each other and basically what we're doing with that example input is we're comparing whether that is the same date. If that's the case we're going to count it and that's the case for delivery ID 2 and 3 here and for the others these seem to be scheduled. So we have 2 out of a total of six, which would give us a percentage of 33.33. So let's actually compare them by using an equal sign. And this should evaluate to true or false and would be denoted as zero for false and one for true. So as we can see from the output, we have two ones in here, which are the cases with delivery ID two and three where that is actually true. Orders have been scheduled for the same day, orders were immediate, and that seems to work. Now we just need to calculate that ratio. So if we sum that up, that is a little trick to sum up a comparison without using an if statement, or case statement, we actually get the amount of times this statement has evaluated to true. So we had two ones in there, we had four zeros, and if we take the sum of all these numbers, it's going to be two. And we're going to use this little hack to tell us that this statement was true two times for that entire table. We could also use if or case when then statements here and say if order date is customer delivery date then one else zero and then sum it up, but that is pretty much already done because true is decoded as one and false as zero. So that works perfectly. So we have the sum of immediate orders. Now we just need to divide that by the sum of total orders. And if we want to get the total sum of orders or entries in that table, since one order is one entry, you probably know this, we're just gonna do count star. If we select count star from delivery, it's going to tell us how many entries we have in that table and that's the amount of orders. 
So if we divide the sum of immediate orders by the sum of all orders, we're going to get our percentage of 0 0.3333. We still need to do some formatting for that value and call it immediate percentage. Let's do that right now. And we have a percentage, but it's given as a decimal number 0 0.33. It should be 33.33. So what we can do is just multiply it by 100. And that should take care of that. Pretty much move it by these decimals. And then see what that would give us. 33.3333. I guess it usually just gives you four digits after the dot, but four decimals. But we're supposed to round that to two decimal places, which you see in a lot of questions. So just use the round function, put brackets around everything. And after the comma, you can specify how many digits you want this to be rounded to. In this case, it's going to be two. And that should complete the problem. Let's run that to see if it's accepted and submit that to see if it's accepted as a submission as well. It is. And that's pretty much it for the problem. As you can see, it's a lovely problem, very realistic, and you can yeah, kind of go through it, talk through it, even though it's a quite short one, and get to a solution step by step. Anyways, that's been it for this problem. If you want to see more of these videos, I have YouTube playlists on each lead code difficulty, so you can browse solutions by difficulty. And I also just set up a Fiverr page if you want to practice coding interviews specifically with me in a live session. You can book a session with me or have your resume reviewed or also book the entire package of a SQL mock interview and resume review. I'm going to have links down below to that and apart from that I'm going to see you guys next time.